Chapter 13 is the story of the Civil War, a war that cost twice as many American lives as any other war we've fought in, including World War II. And Illinois played an important part in the war. Obviously, Illinois provided the president who guided the country during the war. Illinois also provided the general who eventually determined the winning strategy for the war. And Illinois provided several hundred thousand soldiers who fought in the war. As you read chapter 13, the things you want to keep an eye on are, number one, the final establishment of the supremacy of the federal government. Number two, confirmation that states cannot secede from the Union. And number three, the end of slavery. Hi folks, today I'm at Camp Lincoln in Springfield, Illinois at the Illinois State Military Museum. During the Civil War, over a quarter of a million Illinoisans served in the Union forces. During the war, the Union had numerous advantages, including a much larger population to draw troops from, an industrialized economy that could equip troops, feed them, provision them, and supply them in the field continuously, and finally, a cause. The initial cause, keeping the Union together. After the Emancipation Proclamation, ending slavery. A higher cause, if you will. Did you know that Springfield once had a POW camp? Here on the northeast side of town, Camp Butler, which you probably know as a cemetery, started out as a Civil War prisoner of war camp. Here, Confederate soldiers, mostly from the Western Campaign, were brought north, and here today, over 300 of those Confederate soldiers are buried. Here in the East Side Cemetery in Jacksonville is the grave of one of Illinois' Civil War heroes. Benjamin H. Grierson was a cavalry general who served under Ulysses S. Grant at the Battle of Shiloh and all along in the Mississippi River Campaign during the course of the war. Shortly after the war ended, memorials like this one in downtown Decatur began to appear in city centers all across the country. The Civil War had been incredibly destructive. Five million men had served, over 600,000 were killed. That's more than in all of America's wars combined before the, before the Vietnam War. As you read this chapter, remember the destruction and the costs of the war, remember the sacrifices that Americans made, the issues that were predominant in Americans' minds, and remember these three topics. Number one, the final establishment of the supremacy of the federal government. Number two, confirmation that states cannot secede from the Union. And number three, the final end of slavery.